263, 300. All right, we're at 320 now. 400, 400, 452. All right, so we got my Cybertruck down to, what is it, 0.4%. So 0%, but 0.4%. Uh, it has one mile and we preconditioned the car. It's what I was not doing last night because they actually did not have this supercharger um, on the map, which it is now. So it's at the right temperature. And thankfully I had, oh my God, Tesla come with me. And we actually saw the cheaper version of the Model Y here. So of course, uh, but we're gonna plug this thing in and see if we can hit that 500 kilowatts. Um, all right, well, let's do it. I'm gonna plug this in. Let's see if we can get 500 kilowatts on my Cybertruck. Let's get it in. I see it's starting to charge, and you can see here we are at 0%. All right, there it is. 36, 68, 141, 185, 263, 300. All right, we're at 320 now. 400, 400, 452. 499 oh my gosh we are 500. hitting at 500 500 dude we did it so it is 941 so we're gonna do a state of charge update every like uh five to ten minutes but dude we hit it <laughs> and i think what is crazy so it did hit it okay it was like it wasn't long it was probably what like 10 a seconds second. A, second. <laughs> a second yeah yeah so but um that is huge dude yeah. We did it, oh my God, still okay. Strong. It's still pulling strong at 400 kilowatts, uh, 397. So again, we started at 941, but man, this is such a, such a cool experience. I can't believe um, we did it. Uh, and what makes this so special is that this is the only EV truck that can actually, um, yeah, this is the only EV truck that can charge that, that many kilowatts. So we did it. Shout out to Oh My God Tesla, who's just visiting with me. Um, he's a buddy in my area, so I hit him up and uh, wanted to make sure I did it right because I did it without him last night. And if you're not with Oh My God Tesla, it's just not going to work. So, um, but yeah, we hit it and I got a picture. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to just uh, it, it, at 946, I'm going to do a check in, but I want to see how this is up. But in just a minute, it went from zero to 9%. But dude, it was bonkers. It was going up like 32, 68, 140, 250, and then like 400 randomly. So it popped, but we got it. Um, all right, we're gonna check in in another three minutes. Um, huge update though, that's that's cool. I'm, I'm so excited. We It took us a minute to get there, um, but yeah, we did it. All right, so we've officially been charging for five minutes. We started at 941, it's 946, and we are up to 23%. So zero to 23% in five minutes, which is pretty crazy. Uh, we're gonna check in at 951 and just see where we are. But, you know, I've been seeing these speeds just, you know, it's been accelerating at like 300, 350 kilowatts this whole time. Um, but you know, you really get low, it's really gonna charge it up fast. So we're gonna just go up to 20 minutes and see how far it goes. Tim put this in service mode just because we can see just like how much energy, temperature, the temperature we, and the voltage. We, we wanted to make sure that we hit this tonight. I didn't wanna have to come back for a third night and do this amateur row. So, um, but yeah, zero to 23% in five minutes. Uh, we'll check back in in another five. All right, so we've officially hit 10 minutes. Again, I started at 941, we're at 951. We've hit 38% and we are charging at about 180 kilowatts right now. Uh, but in 10 minutes, we have gone up 38% because I was literally at 0% and we got all the way up to 38. It's up to 39 right now. So we're gonna go another 10 minutes. I'm gonna check in in another five, uh, but it is pretty crazy to just see the ability to charge 40% almost in 10 minutes. Um, and so again, you know, super cool of Tesla to be able to continue to innovate at with such rigor, because these V4 cabinets out here get up to uh, eight stalls per cabinet, and it's no longer has this enclosure. So this is the V4 cabinets here. And this can actually charge up to one whole megawatt 
uh, what makes this special is this is built up for the next uh, 10 years. If this can go up to a megawatt, you know, again, once they get the, the batteries and uh, the other vehicles that can take that type of charging, they're gonna be good when they start rolling all of these out. So this is located here in Redwood City. But yeah, so I'm gonna check back in at, I think it's 956. Uh, at 956, I'm gonna see where we're at, but we got up to 38% in just 10 minutes from zero. All right guys, so we have officially been charging for 15 minutes. We're at 956 right now. We've been charging since 941, and we hit the big four nine. Uh, so 49% in 15 minutes. Um, again, we were literally at 0.4%, uh, so not even one, uh, literally pretty much zero. And this thing hit 49% in 15 minutes. Um, that is just crazy. I don't think I've ever seen um, it, you know, any other EV right now, like at least here in the US, do something that fast. 15 minutes, 50%. And again, that, that's 159 miles. Um, so either way, crazy. Um, again, you can see all the speeds here. This is in service mode. Um, and we'll, we're gonna check back at 10.01 to see what, what we hit in a matter of 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes, I have charged from zero to 58%. And again, this is hitting 500 kilowatts for about a second, um, but I was able to charge a total of 58%, it's actually even 59% um, in a matter of 20 minutes. So, um, you know, Tesla has just really made it so easy uh, to charge and I cannot believe that the charging speeds are this fast now. Um, so I'm gonna end this because again, my goal was to hit 500 kilowatts, but I wanted to see what would my state of charge be after 20 minutes. Um, so I'm so thankful that I was able to hit this. It's a big milestone for me. This was my second try. Uh, the first one, I wasn't able to precondition because I was uh, trying to navigate to a V2 and um, because it was a V2, it wasn't preconditioning. Um, so I was able to talk to some of the people at Tesla and they were like, hey, go map it to a V3. And actually this Redwood City is supposed to be on the supercharger maps. For some people it is, for me it's not. Um, but again, this is the first ever V4 cabinet location this is not the 3.5 that they had installed in Los Gatos, which was the first one as well. Um, and so this can charge up to eight stalls per cabinet back here and up to one whole megawatt. Um, it's built for that and they don't have to change a bunch of things. So once these cars are able and capable to charge at one megawatt, um, these are built for that. So this, this, this whole lo location is built for like the next 10 years. And again, what makes these things so special is the size, the fact that it's doubled uh, the productivity with eight stalls. Um, but yeah, so if you are in the Bay Area, I think they're opening up one in Campbell as well. But if you're ever in the Bay Area, come check out this one, get your thing down to 0% precondition, make sure you precondition, um, and you'll be able to hit 500 kilowatts here in the Cybertruck. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, shout out to Oh My God Tesla as well. Uh, thanks, Tim. Yeah, shout out to him for just co coming and tagging along with an old buddy. Please uh, let me know in the comments what you think, like and subscribe, and we will catch you guys on the next one, but I'm one of the first to hit 500 kilowatts. I, I cannot say I'm the first because I think that there's some others that have tried the curve, but in 20 minutes charged up to uh, almost 60% uh, from zero. So uh, thanks again for tagging along and I appreciate all the support.